Describe your transformation in autonomy. I would say that my transfer transformation has been subtle, but significant. I would say my transformation in autonomy is still unfolding. Before I started on autonomy, I was a really busy mom. Oh, I think that I'm much more relaxed now. I've got a lot more uh, self-confidence in uh, my own abilities. Well, I really, I really got a lot out of the sales. Before, <laughs> we'll give an example. Uh, I would get really nervous and blank out and all sorts of things if I got a call from a prospect, a potential client, and I wouldn't really know how to handle the situation. I do know my industry and I know what I do, but I would get very nervous to the point where I would just completely go blank like a white sheet of paper. And uh, yeah, I was just trying to make a sale from the moment they said hello. <laughs> and then so then the nerves came over and then just had I, I couldn't do it so now I can you know well as as we went through the interviews you know the integration exercises as far as the interview um it just taught me just conversation right you don't need you just relax and have fun with it basically and so that after doing that it, I think that helped and then also when we got into the sales part really understanding that um you don't have to sell anybody. It's very similar to the interview exercise and um, <clears throat> that uh, you can also have fun with it. And then you can also have a sheet. So that, I think that was helpful. So sometimes I don't have an actual sheet. Well, I don't have one actually yet, but but I'll write down stuff. I can actually think of like, okay, I just want to understand who this person is. I probably mm -hmm. want to get their name right. So maybe I should ask them. I don't have to feel shy because I would feel bad that I didn't get the name, even though this is the first time this person has ever told me their name. And anyway, um, and, and just, you know, just, just being very, uh, yeah, just asking lots of questions. Right. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's a lot funner. It's a lot less, less stressful. And I also have some sort of gauge as to what I'm doing when it comes to that. So yeah, it's a lot better. <laughs> I can handle stress better. I don't. I don't get stressed out, and uh, because I, I feel like uh, more, more confident, and uh, less fearful. Fear, fear now. The way I see fear is is just push right through it. it everybody feels fear. You just got. You just can't let it stop you. You just got to keep going. So, um, I hope that. Mm. I hope that stays with me. I plan on keeping it if I can. I'm still a busy mom, but I was made aware how often I made that an excuse. And um, with autonomy and going through autonomy, I'm so much more aware of how I use uh, external things as excuses and how I hold myself back. So, uh, for example, I would say, like, I used to run before I was a mom. I ran, I ran all the way up until my firstborn. Um, I was probably 33 weeks pregnant and then I stopped running and I didn't run again. And, um, and I kept thinking, oh, it's so hard. I don't have time, all that stuff. Well, I've always wanted to get back into it and I've been running for a couple months now, every other day consistently like I know I was the one who was trying to hide behind some uh, reason that wasn't a good reason and I'm back at it it feels great my inside is the outside kind of so my personal transformation was I actually was triggered into some memories that I forgot of childhood trauma from a small child I forgot like over 40 years and I've just had a chance to discuss it with my family over Christmas um, and it was that part of it was uh, completely unexpected no one expects to enroll in an autonomy course and have some childhood memories that are abuse that you didn't you blocked out for over 40 years. So that was a roller coaster. And the best thing about autonomy through that was the accountability. 
that I had to still show up. I couldn't disappear into that fight, flight, freeze mobility. I had to keep moving. I had to show up. I did. I mean, I chose to, but that's what I was expected of me in the culture of excellence. And I didn't want to bow out or step down. Um, so being accountable and showing up helped me through that point of realization as well. That was completely unexpected coming into autonomy, having that. The biggest thing would have been um, from um, the group accountability coaching, just helping me to kind of break my introverted shell and meet people in my local community. Um, and then just uh, encouraging me to like try different things, like the Do It Live podcast. Um, I think I would have just... I wouldn't have done that on my own, you know? Uh, right. So just, it gave me encouragement and motivation to actually do those things that I wanted to do. But uh, I probably just wouldn't have, like I said, wouldn't have done it on my own. I've kind of upgraded my, uh, the way I deal with other people, um, just in the general day-to-day -day life and community, work colleagues. Um, I've got a much more uh, positive and uh, encouraging um, kind of attitude. A couple of people that I work with could uh, improve their, uh, their their work skills, and uh, I, I'd literally engaged in a program of uh, positive motivation. I uh, just made sure that I just made a conscious decision to uh, throw away the stick and just be all carrot and mm. uh, and try and encourage them that uh, yeah that's that was good work tonight Tom that was that was really good you uh, you know you did what was needed when it was needed without being uh, asked or having to be given instructions as opposed to uh, some of the other people um, that I work with are uh, try to uh, change his that particular person's behavior by uh, constructive criticism but uh, he doesn't handle that very well. Um, uh, so yeah, it's been a, a, an overall um, change in, in uh, how I go about doing things in being much more uh, supportive of uh, the positive aspects of people's character. My transformation in autonomy has been, I think mainly around my attitude. I think I'm, I, I don't really know how to say it otherwise than I'm just that little bit more resilient, a little bit more positive. I ha I'm optimistic. Um, I, while I know I have a lot of work to do and that there's, there's, there's much to learn and, and whilst this might be graduation, I also feel I'm really only starting. So, you know, which is a great feeling as well. Um, I feel I've got options. I feel I've got people I can turn to and discuss things and already that's been happening good you know awesome. so i think that transformation of uh, of realizing that there's strength in reaching out and talking to other people and, and sharing ideas and maybe kicking ideas around and getting a bit of advice i've already started doing that that's good. that's good that's positive for me because i've been a bit of a loner at times so that is a transformation i think i'm just at the point of um, integrating some of the things that I've learned and um, really getting some of it maybe organized on my note cards or starting to get some of it under my belt. Um, but the transformation is, I would say, uh, primarily I notice it in in the change in the inner dialogue. Uh, for me, that's that's the um, less less self criticism, which wouldn't it be wonderful if I could be more kind to myself, more patient with myself, right? Um, wouldn't that just make the world better for me? And then I'm a better person to interact with in the world for others. And so that's part of the solution globally, you know, if we could all tame that inner voice a little bit, I think it would be a, a long way for um, growth and, and healing of humanity. For I came into this program, I felt beat down about my job because 
I just felt like mentally, physically exhausted by it, you know, and I would say that my attitude about life was not the best. Um, I didn't know about stoicism and there's a lot of other stuff that I didn't know about either. So once I got, and I had a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt in myself. Can I actually even do this? Am I smart enough to do X, Y, Z? Can I, you know, what if I'm, what if, you know, all this personal self-doubt basically, um, not the best confidence, but since I started and then it, it's weird because it's not, it's not linear. It's not straight up, right? I still have the, some up and down, but it's been an upward trend. My attitude has changed and it's weird because it's like, I don't know exactly when it happened along the way, but then all of a sudden I just started not getting as frustrated or as pissed off or as worked up about stuff that would really bother me before. And then whenever somebody would do something or say something, I struggled with that of like, well, why do I have such a hard time dealing with people? Why do I, what did they mean by that? You know? And then all of a sudden it's, and like I said, it's not always perfect, but it's gotten so much better. And I'm like, well, I don't necessarily know what they meant, but I don't have to assume that it was some sort of personal slight against me. I don't have to take that personally and I don't have to worry about it. Because if I worry about it, then it's taking valuable mental space. It's taking time in my valuable time. It's taking away from my enjoyment and my gratitude. So I'm going to let it go. And I've been able to do that. I mean, not every single time, every single thing, but that's a huge change for me. Huge. Because if you think about how pissy people can be about like, oh, well, what do you mean by that? I mean, I could be that person. And so to be able, and I didn't want to be, but I, I never knew how to stop, right? So then it's like, and the more you do that, just like with the sales exercise and everything else, the more you do practice letting things like that go and realizing I want to focus on my gratitude. I want to focus on what I have to look forward to. You know, I want to focus on, trying to be better today than I was yesterday, then it has been a game changer. It's, it's really incredible. And then I do feel more confident. You know, I got into autonomy and it wasn't as scary as I thought. In fact, it was something that I actually loved. I loved lectures. I loved Q and a, I loved the integration exercises, talking to my classmates, getting to know people. So all of that has changed for me. And I feel more confident in myself now because I feel like I have people that I really respect and I feel like they respect me. And then I'm like, well, if I think so highly of them and they are saying nice things about me and they're interacting with me as a peer and they're asking for my thoughts, then that matters to me. And that makes me feel more confident. So it's been... <laughs> it's been special, you know, it's been really special. It's been very impactful in my life.